India's largest multi-purpose dam project has faced decades of delays, soaring costs, and countless challenges. Yet, in 2025, one question remains. Where does the Polavaram project actually stand? Polavaram project, Polavaram project, Polavaram no project, Polavaram project, Polavaram project. On the banks of the powerful Godavari River, engineers are racing against time to complete a structure that has the potential to transform the future of millions of people. It's a story of ambition and resilience, but also of politics, setbacks, and some of the most complex engineering India has ever attempted. Located in Andhra Pradesh, the Polavaram project isn't just another dam, it is a lifeline, envisioned to provide irrigation to vast stretches of farmland, supply drinking water to hundreds of villages, generate clean hydroelectric power, and control the destructive floods that have plagued the region for generations. Recognizing its immense significance, the Government of India declared it a national project, a rare status given only to infrastructure works of the highest priority. The vision was bold, but the path to bringing it to life has been anything but simple. The idea of harnessing the Godavari's enormous water flow first emerged in the 1940s, when engineers saw the river's potential to transform agriculture across the state. Decades passed with proposals and studies, but progress was slow. It wasn't until 2004 that the project received official approval. The chosen location at Polavaram village in Aluru district was ideal, sitting at a strategic point where water could be diverted to multiple regions. This design meant the project could not only prevent floods, but also link rivers together, ensuring dry areas received water during droughts. When construction finally began, expectations were sky high. Palavaram was seen as a once-in-a-generation opportunity to reshape the state's economy and improve millions of lives. The scale of Polavaram's potential impact is extraordinary. Once completed, the project will provide irrigation to more than 700,000 hectares of farmland, an area almost the size of the entire state of Delaware in the U.S. It will bring drinking water to 540 villages, offering relief to millions of residents who have long faced water shortages. A hydroelectric plant with a capacity of 960 megawatts will produce enough electricity to power over 2 million homes, delivering clean energy to communities and industries alike. By controlling the flow of the Godavari, the dam will significantly reduce the risk of catastrophic flooding, which has caused immense destruction in the past. In addition, it will act as a key link in India's national water grid by diverting surplus water to other river basins helping balance the country's uneven distribution of resources. This is more than just a dam. It is an infrastructure network designed to secure water, power, and safety for generations to come. Building something on this scale comes at a huge cost, and Polavaram's budget has spiraled far beyond its original estimates. When the project was first conceived, the total cost was projected to be around 10,000 crore rupees. Fast forward to 2025, and that figure has grown to over 55,500 crore rupees, or roughly $6.6 .6 billion. Every delay and setback has added to the expense. Rising material prices, changes in design, and years of inflation have driven costs upward. One of the biggest factors, however, has been the human side of the project relocating tens of thousands of families, compensating them fairly, and building entire new settlements is a massive undertaking, both financially and logistically. Natural disasters like severe floods and cyclones have caused damage that needed urgent repairs, further inflating costs. Even the pandemic added years of disruption, stalling progress when work was needed most. The engineering challenges behind Polavaram are immense, Building a dam across one of India's largest rivers is already complex, but here, the team faced additional hurdles. Perhaps the greatest was displacement and rehabilitation. More than 100,000 people from nearly 300 villages were directly affected by the construction. Entire communities had to be relocated to higher ground, requiring new houses, schools, and infrastructure to be built. The process was slow, sensitive, and often met with resistance, leading to protests and legal disputes. Environmental concerns added another layer of complexity. 
The Godavari River Basin is home to unique ecosystems and wildlife. Environmental groups raised alarms about biodiversity loss, deforestation, and submerged forests. These concerns led to strict regulatory reviews and court interventions that periodically halted work. Then there were the natural challenges. In 2019 and 2020, massive floods damaged the cofferdam and parts of the spillway, undoing months of progress and forcing emergency repairs. Even without these setbacks, the sheer scale of construction is staggering. The main dam itself stretches more than two kilometers across the river, requiring millions of cubic meters of concrete and some of the largest machinery in India to move and place it. As of mid-2025, significant progress has been made, but the project remains unfinished. The spillway, designed to safely release excess water during floods, is complete and operational. The cofferdam, which temporarily diverts the river to allow construction in dry conditions, has also been finished. However, several critical parts are still under construction. The main powerhouse, which will generate electricity, remains incomplete. The vast network of canals required to deliver irrigation water is still being developed, and full reservoir preparation has yet to be finalized. Officials now believe the dam won't be fully operational before 2027, and some components may stretch into 2028 or later. While engineering challenges have been significant, politics has also played a major role in slowing progress. Because Palavaram is a national project, funding is supposed to come primarily from the central government. However, disputes between the central authorities and the Andhra Pradesh state government over reimbursements, cost-sharing and control have repeatedly caused delays. Every change in state leadership has brought shifts in priorities, contracts and timelines. At times, progress seemed to stall not because of technical issues, but because of negotiations and administrative hurdles. Despite all these struggles, the vision for Polavaram remains transformative. When finally completed, it will bring reliable irrigation to farmers who currently depend on uncertain rainfall, boosting crop production and rural incomes. Drinking water will flow to hundreds of villages that today face chronic shortages, improving public health and quality of life. The hydroelectric station will supply clean power to millions of people, reducing reliance on coal and cutting greenhouse gas emissions. By controlling the river's flow, the dam will greatly reduce the devastation caused by seasonal floods, potentially saving countless lives and preventing billions of rupees in damages each year. Economically, the project could lift entire regions, driving new industries, jobs and growth, creating a ripple effect that extends far beyond the state of Andhra Pradesh. The Palavaram project represents the very best and worst of large-scale infrastructure. It is a bold vision, a dam designed to bring prosperity and security to millions, but it has been slowed by decades of technical, social, and political obstacles. Even today, its future remains unfinished, suspended between progress and uncertainty. For those who will one day benefit, Polavaram is a dream worth waiting for. But as years pass and costs rise, the question becomes more pressing. How much longer must India wait for this dream to become reality? What do you think? Is Polavaram worth the decades of struggle and expense? Let us know in the comments below.